G'day guys, um, today we're going to put the Akubra chin strap to my Akubra Avalon here. Um, I've already opened it, had a little look. There's instructions there at the back of how to actually fit it. And it comes with these. So you get your hooks in here, it goes inside a hat. Um, and this little clip-on things that goes into the hooks. And then the strap that clips into these. Oh, the opposite. There you go. That end goes in there. Just clips in there. So the reason why I'm putting the the chin strap is because my Akubra Avalon, as much as I love this hat, and one of the reasons why I love this hat is because of the um, the soft cotton band, sweatband. But compared to the normal Akubra, which has the leather sweatband. Now the leather sweatband is good because this side here actually sticks to your forehead when it's um, when it's windy. And because it sticks into your forehead, it helps it to hold into your head. So it doesn't really fly off. Um, but the Akubra Avalon, this soft, um, cotton band it doesn't really hold into your forehead um, so in a gusty situation in a windy time it has the potential to flew off your head especially because it has a, such a wide brim it's um, 80 centimeter brim so I'm adding on the chin strap now this one has a shape that kind of goes out that way so that needs to go out of the way so all you got to do is find the center now I thought if you look at it here the stitching of this is really really thin like really fine stitchings I thought you can't use this because it has to go through the gap but we've tested it in the shop and it turns out you can so this fine stitching here is actually the stitching of the sweatband not the stitching into the felt so this side it's a lot easier to find what's the center so it's basically where the center is right there all you gotta do is open that up and kind of pry it in just to find that little gap there we go there now i'm just gonna test that yep that's perfect um, inside you can see the design is quite clever it actually um, kind of distribute the weight evenly and it sits nicely in there covered by the sweatband and you won't even feel that there's something in there now the other side again you just have to kind of measure you can measure by eye or that, that at least that's what I'm doing of where the opposite end is or where the center is and then we'll just put it there it's about there I reckon no that's not that's not even so it needs to go a little lower maybe there yep right there test it again So you want it just coming out of your temple, really. So now that's attached. Just making sure that it's even. Doesn't look so even, actually. Um, this is very center. Uh, I'll adjust this, put this one down. Yep. Oop. There you go, that's more like it. Now, 
<coughs> compare that to the leather sweatband, the stitching here is actually a good gap in there. So you can see, you can insert it much better because there's a gap. All right, that's the front. Now from there, just have to attach this. Just a simple loop. There you go. It's a bit tricky. Like that. The other side. So that's just a clip. Into that. Do a loop. That's it. So it hangs kind of like that. There you go. Now, if you're not using the strap, you can actually take this off or leave it dangling like that if you want. Um, or, you know, it's it's pretty easy to just take the whole thing off if you wanted to. And then from there, we attach the actual strap. Now, it's called chin strap because this here kind of, you can adjust that and that, you know, tighten into your chin all right so it clips in and that's it that's how easy it is to add the chin strap now you won't be using it all the time with the chin strap so most people do is they just flip it on the side like so and tighten it here there you go it dangles on the side I think it's quite a nice look as well it just hangs in there if you're not using it inside there you go now that's how you put in the Akubra chin strap and I reckon for a sweat a cotton sweatband like these you really need to have one if you're going to um, to windy areas or beach or or um you know mountain um high places that's windy you really need one of these because i mean the hat itself is about 200 dollars, so <laughs> it's not a cheap hat um, to lose so this 15 dollars investment i reckon it's a good thing and it comes in black by the way black or um, this khaki looking thing I chose this. There you go. Cooper chin strap.